City, Canyon School District officials and others breaking in the new Hawk Light signal system at the crosswalk in Cottonwood Heights near Bella Vista Elementary School. This intersection of the well-traveled Fort Union Boulevard and Nye Drive has been a safety concern for years, especially when school is not in session. Pretty good with our crossing guards and police that are, that are helping to, to slow down residents and make sure they stop. But this hawk light in non-school hours, we think can be really beneficial, which is what happened during the accident 10 months ago. It was a non-school hour. The mayor says the signal system project was over two years in the making and came to fruition thanks to the Utah Department of Transportation and a federal grant. It comes in the wake of two incidents in the same week of October of last year at or near this crosswalk. A 57-year-old man was killed when he was struck by a car outside the crosswalk, while a 12-year-old boy who was using the crosswalk was seriously hurt when he was hit by a car with an impaired driver behind the wheel. It was devastating to our community. Honestly, our, our community was in mourning and, and he didn't he, he survived but he was in critical over the years there's been no shortage of citizens who banded together to advocate for this hawk light system at this location take maddie malini who teaches at hillcrest high school and had a daughter who attended bella vista elementary just through networking with them i've wanted to see more projects like this in our city and our city has come through for us and according to the mayor the city is just getting started when it comes to installing more state-of-the-art crosswalk signal systems. I want uh, the community to understand that this is not the end. This is the beginning of Cottonwood Heights trying to make our roads safer for pedestrians and for uh, bicyclists and for all of those that are not in a motor vehicle. Mark Blaine, Fox 13 News, Utah, Cottonwood Heights.